Hey guys, welcome back to another video. It's your man Jay. So it's time to tell you about a new device and a new company. This company is called Hot Pepper. And if you saw me tweet out uh, this, uh, this logo here uh, on Instagram and Twitter, I was showing you this part of the, 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 this is the company logo, folks. This is pretty sweet, right? Uh, this device right here is called the Ghost. And this is one of their first devices. It's a brand new company, folks, like Fresh Slate. They're ready to get it on. So to start, they're entering into the more pocket-friendly uh, budget realm of devices. And you know, sometimes this is how you have to start. It's not how you start, it's how you finish. So this device though, I think it's actually gonna be pretty cool. Um, stay tuned to the channel in the coming weeks and I'll disclose more information. But for, for right now, I just wanted to unbox the, the phone and show it to you. Uh, and But I will go over some specs real fast before I do that. Six inch display, it's a 720p HD plus, uh, 1440 by 720, 18 by nine ratio, three gigs of RAM, 32 gigs onboard storage. It does have an SD card up to 128 gigs it can take. The primary uh, camera is a 13 megapixel camera uh, on the rear. Uh, and then you've got, uh, excuse me, 13, and then you've got a, a five megapixel on the front facing camera. So it does have a octa-core processor and that is a MediaTek uh, processor. Huge battery inside, 3850, which is gonna be good. But the thing about this phone right here, it has Wi-Fi, the, the 2.4 and the five gigahertz. Uh, and it's a pretty affordable phone. Uh, you've got Bluetooth 5.0. You got GPS, type C, you know what I'm saying, nano SIM, Fingerprint scanner, HD voice, dual microphones. But one thing about this phone that's better than a lot of other budget phones without even me opening the box, it works on every carrier. Yes, including Verizon. And I know Verizon customers get upset sometimes about not having phones that of their choice on certain networks. So this phone right here will be for you. Remember, stay tuned later on and I'll disclose more information about pricing uh, and carriers and stuff like that. But for now, Let's just take a look at it. Let's go. Alright guys, so that's the content of the box. You get a case and everything in here. Looks like it's going to be pretty cool. Um, but this should be running stock Android. Uh, so let's skip this. I want to get into the phone real quick. I want to skip all of this. I just want to get to the home page. Please let me in. Let me in. I want to see what that home page is looking like. Oh, let's not skip the fingerprint reader. Let's go, um, let's just go put in a pin of one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. All right. Nice little feedback. Get that fingerprint set up. I'm moving kind of fast there. Let's add another. All right. And we should have test that fingerprint. Done. Yeah, stock Android. Very nice, folks. So this has 32 gigs of onboard storage and three gigs of RAM. So let me get my bifocals over here. Oh, battery's fully charged. So you go into here. Brightness is at 82. Uh, you've got screen savers. Uh, let's go down to storage. Here we go. Nothing on the phone. You've got 6.8. 6.28 gigs used and you got almost two of that is apps and the other is the system I wanted to show you this so you can see what you're dealing it out of the box But remember this does have an SD card and folks. This is pretty much stock Android now Let me go out of here and see what I would consider bloat. Do I see Facebook? 
No. Thank goodness. I do not like when phones come preloaded with Facebook. I just don't like Facebook. So you've got uh, FM radio though. Ha! Huh? You got FM radio on there, so that's good. Duo is already installed. Uh, you got a sound recorder. I, that's not not really boatware because a lot of people want to get those nowadays. Uh, but that's that's pretty much it. And you got this wireless uh, update here, probably more than likely. Uh, but that is it. All right. So Google Play Protect is on. All right. Let's crank the brightness all the way up and see what it's looking like. All right. Looking pretty good. Looking pretty good. All right. So let's go in here like this here. So you've got wallpapers here. Uh, let's go to wallpapers and see what the wallpapers are looking like. So these are pretty much the stock looking wall. Oh, that's clean right there. Uh, yeah, some pretty nice, uh, shows how nice the screen is. Now remember, this is 1440 by 720, uh, so keep that in mind. It's got a few wallpapers, just a few on there. Let's, uh, let's see here. That's pretty hot. That's pretty hot. Pretty nice. Pretty nice. Okay. Okay. Um, so the home screen, home screen settings and uh, see what's in here. So you can see these are what we got going on here. I like it. So far... It, it it's snappier than I would anticipate, to be honest. Um, screen size, default. Let's go down to small. Let's see if that gives me more on the display. Like, yes, that is what I'm talking about. See, this is what I was looking for. You might think, Jay, what's the big deal about that? I like to have five icons instead of four. You know, the Galaxy Note devices or just Samsung devices now, they have the four um they have four across by default just like this device so you know it's not a knock on anything i just prefer to have five across my bible app will go in the middle once i get this all set up uh but uh, okay all right stock android looking pretty decent uh we're gonna see how this goes man but let me get my rag i gotta buff this thing out because this is one of those phones that is so nice i want to keep it clean So again, you have that 13 megapixel on the rear, and then you've got the five on the front. Uh, and there's your fingerprint reader. Looking pretty good. Let's go into the camera settings and see what we get here for resolution. Now remember folks, this is a pocket friendly device. So you're not gonna get, um, don't have the right expectations, I'll say. That's what I'll say. So go to settings here. Uh, and you've got four by three, as you can see there. Let's here settings right here. So picture size is 13 megapixels or nine for 16 by nine. So we'll put it to the highest resolution. Face detection is obviously there. Time wa watermark, I like those. Uh, Anti-flicker, sweet, okay. Uh, let's go to, so it's got photo, video, and beauty mode. All right, so there's 1080p. 720p, 480p, 1080p. So record, I like that you can just change that right there in the app. I, I, you know, some phones don't do it, man. You never know. So camera screen brightness is maximum shooting. Uh, I'm just kind of going through the, these for you. Set the, it's one of those ones where high, low, medium. So let's set the video quality to high. We want to get the best that the phone can offer. Uh, and then that's how we're going to do it. So it's got a beauty mode. You go up here, you can set the beauty mode right there, how much you want it, but we like to turn those off, like the little animation. I'll dig into um, the phone itself uh, later on down the line, but again, this is a new device and a new company. Don't you guys want something different? Now remember what I said, stay tuned to the channel for updates on this device. Remember, it works on Verizon. It works on Verizon. so. Keep that in mind. It also works on all carriers because you know what? It's unlocked to the world. So you've got bands, and let me read the bands just so you guys can be clear on what I'm saying here. LTE bands are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 7, 8, 12, 13, 14, 17, 25, 26, 66, 71, and then you've got the 41. So this thing works on Verizon and Sprint as well. It's certified. So there you go. It's your man Jay. Hope you guys enjoyed. This is the ghost from the new company called Hot Pepper. What do you guys think about that name? It's your man Jay. See you in the next one. Take care.